This is Second Ezra 14 and verse 16, and it reads, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So we live in the time that we're approaching Jacob's trouble, you know, which is going to be when Jacob, Jacob is basically going to catch, you know, this is going to be judgment towards two-thirds of our nation, you know what I mean? And it tells you that Jacob's trouble will be like a time never before. So out of all the atrocities that have befallen us in all these different captivities, this will be the magnus opus, <laughs> you know. Um, where is that? This is the book of um, Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse um, 23. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 22. My face will I turn also from them and they shall pollute my secret place for the robber shall enter into it and defile it. Make a chain for the land is full of bloody crimes and the city is full of violence. You know, and you know that city, you know, is um, that's referred of is you know America, you know, because a city, although it's a whole bunch of different states, you know, this is a land without walls, you know, um, therefore it can be considered one big city, you know. That's why Babylon the Great, thus America, you know, but it's full of violence, you know. You're seeing that more and more. I, I had um, there was an article on. Um, the news breaking out basically saved, but it went into, um, you know, Cleveland, you know, and how dangerous out of all the cities, in, 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 like it compared the, the top 10 most dangerous and then the top 10 most um, safest or something like that. But Cleveland was ranked on the top 10 dangerous, you know? So yeah, you're gonna see that even more and more, you know, like I said again, city full of violence. Um, It's Ezekiel chapter 9. It's the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. And the reason the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men as I cried for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that mark in the Hebrew is Thua, the mark of exemption. So it continues and it says, And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite to strike. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. So he's going to begin at the house of Israel first and foremost. That's why when you read Peter, it talks about judgment should begin at the house of the Lord, meaning judgment is going to begin at the house of those that know that they're Israel. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. And he said unto them, Defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. So you're about to see a great judgment coming forth to america you know what i mean like it's gonna i mean these things are going on all throughout the world right well how much more so in america when this place has a judgment already said before it on top of the fact how much more so when the money fell off you know <laughs> this but you know this is the uh, heavenly armed most heavenly armed population of people and the, when when they're catching turmoil in hell what you think about to happen? That's why it's gonna to have to be martial law, the troops in the troops in the land and, and on the streets, because it's gonna be great violence in the city. So you know, but again, the Lord, you know, He's gonna have His men protected. It tells you um, in Psalm ninety-one, what's this Ezekiel I just read, and multiple scriptures. You know, the Lord is gonna protect His 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 His, his elect. So if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of your power, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, or you will be destroyed. And with that, I want to...
Give all praise, all honor, and all glory to God. Allah, Yom, Allah, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Ba Hashem. Rachakodes, Wakatam. Double honors to my apostles and the elders of the great millstone who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwat, as well as the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Till next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom. Mawath Lababa, Shalom.